Hi, I'm Eric Merrick, Country Manager of Robert Walters Indonesia, and I'm your host for this episode of For Robert Walters Talent Talks. This episode is part of our leadership interview series where business leaders, recruitment experts, and career growth specialists share their insight on careers, leadership lessons, and the latest talent trends. Today, I'm excited to have joining us Kelvin Theo, Chief Operating Officer of Red Bulls, uh, which is Southeast Asia largest and fastest growing hotel chain propelled by technology. Welcome, Kelvin, and thank you for making time for us today. Thank you, Eric, for having me here. All right, let's get started. Um, for the benefit of our listeners and viewers who might not know you, tell us a little bit about yourself and your career journey so far. Certainly. Hi, everyone. I'm Kelvin. Uh, I'm currently the Chief Operating Officer of Red Doors. Red Doors is a new age online hospitality tech organization where we have more than 2,000 small hotels in over 150 cities. Our mission is to build the largest new age hospitality tech company in Southeast Asia by using an industry leading combination of hospitality know-hows, technology, as well as inspiring brand concepts that are relevant to a wide range of traveler segments. Personally, I've been in technology for 21 years uh, with my first 10 years in the enterprise space, followed by my last 11 years in the online uh, B2C businesses. Great. Um, what got you started in the tech and online industries? So I, I was in technology right from the get go. Um, and then 11 years ago, I was invited to be a part of a founding team that was what was known as a group buying startup. The startup had good traction um, and we was eventually sold to Groupon, uh, where I serve, um, you know, in the Groupon entity as the MD of Asia, and we grew uh, the business to cumulative more than a billion dollars in revenue under my care and brought it to profitability before moving on. Excellent. How, how long did you stay in uh, Groupon? Oh, I was there for seven years. Okay, I have yeah. a very long journey in this uh, type of business. Excellent. Um, so you're currently the Chief Operating Officer at Red Doors. Why did you choose to take up this leadership role and uh, how has been the experience so far? So for me, generally, there are two large contributing factors on how I choose a company. One would be the stage of the startup. Uh, and the second part is in which segment um, and what role does it play in that segment? So for the first part, um, you know, in, in my time, in my first startup, I experienced working as a team of six. Um, and even then, two of them were part-timers because, you know, we are a really small startup, right? Um, and this gig over a period of time, many years, grew over, um, you know, multiple uh, thousands of um, times, right? And eventually grew to myself growing into leading thousands of people here in Asia. In the startup stages, the challenge for us uh, was really looking for a re repeatable and um, scalable business model. And in the next stage where it goes into scale up or growth, uh, where the company has gone through the initial product market fit, um, you know, the challenge was really achieving and, um, you know, validation in millions of customers across the region uh, with a goal of achieving and sustaining market leadership. So I would say that these two stages um, are different and both presents equal amount of challenges, uh, but I found myself um, closer to the segment that was more on a scale up uh, or growth stage, right? So, and in that view, uh, Red Doors was a fit. Uh, for the second part, where we, we think about, where I'm thinking about uh, where and what it plays, what the startup is trying to solve, how large is the opportunity and does it resonate with me? Uh, for Red Doors, it, it plays in a market what, that was not only massive, uh, but still largely untapped on both the supply and demand fronts. Uh, most hospitality companies in our segment still operate in a legacy, uh, archaic business model, uh, less digitized, so the upside for Red Doors is exponential. To be able to serve uh, in an underserved market clearly resonated with me. Uh, and also, you know, the team is made up of smart, ambitious people who, who believe in the future of hospitality in our region. So uh, that combined together, you know, made me choose. Uh, um, and I was chosen as well to take up the role of CEO and Red Doors. Excellent. Uh, yeah. Well, great journey ahead for sure. Yeah. So 
Actually, you, you joined Red Dose around the time when the COVID-19 was first reported globally. Um, how did you cope and adjust to the sudden global health crisis, especially in a new role as a senior leader? Yep, yeah, right. You know, I joined at a time where COVID was just beginning, right? And there was certainly no COVID in our markets that, that we are serving in, right? So the situation started to get a little dark for, for in a few weeks into my role for us. And obviously being in the hospitality technology industry, um, we were one of the highly impacted industry. The good thing, um, however, that was that being new uh, in the business and industry as a whole, uh, have a fresh perspective um, and without having conditioning from a particular past. Uh, and certainly, I think that helped us to form a strategic direction with our leadership team to anticipate where the market was moving towards, uh, have a strong plan and, and look at the business for, for all angles, right? So uh, we moved fast, for sure. It was intense. Uh, we adapted to the evolution of the situation uh, and we brought our hotel partners with us um, and reacting according to how, uh, you know, uh, to the latest news, right? So we came up with the right actions to ensure that we navigated through this, this rough waters, right? Um, and I'm sure that this is, you know, um, the same for many of the companies that has been going through um, the pandemic. Yeah, and you realize that a fantastic opportunity to strengthen the partnership uh, with, with your hotels in the same way that many companies can do with their current clients or the people they serve. Excellent. How has the global pandemic affected your business? I mean, in the initial stage of the, the lockdown, right, which is like largely the first quarter of the pandemic uh, and towards the second quarter, we saw a steep decline. Um, and even though we were seeing the business tanking, um, we, we took necessary steps. But at the same time, we were forming up strategies for recovery and, and long-term growth. We thought a lot about innovation. Um, and one of them was a, uh, our Hygiene Pass initiative an accommodation certification program in collaboration with ICMI, who is the Indonesian Public Health Association, as well as Dr. Ho Marwan, um, who is the leading authority uh, in COVID, to create a safe environment for customers and hotels. Our other innovation includes uh, focusing on uh, working on new segments, working with regional governments, medical and other essential workers. So with those plans in, and execution in place, starting in Q3, we actually saw a gradual increase. Um, and if you look into public information, we, we recovered ahead of the public markets throughout by 15 to 20% 20, 20 uh, points. Uh, based on that, we were confident of uh, recovery and there was pent up demand in local travel, which is what we are known for, right? So though we are still in the pandemic, uh, I'm glad to share that the, the work our team has done has gotten out of us out of the woods and as a company, you may also be aware through some publicly accessible reports, Red Doors actually had a record revenue in 2020 and there's still a lot of work to do ahead of us. Amazing, amazing, congratulations. As a season leader, what do you think is key to leading and motivating employees, especially in recent uncertain times? Well, Eric, um, key principles don't really change in my view, right? Being strategic, anticipating where the market is going, um, you know, in times of uncertainty and having our eyes on the big picture, trust, communication, focusing on common goals, um, shared responsibility for future success. These principles don't change. But what the pandemic does is that it puts it onto a spotlight, uh, in particular on the mechanism to execute on this principle and how you're going to bring it to life. Yeah. I see. We, with Indonesia still uh, experiencing lockdown uh, due to this uh, global pandemic, how are you caring for your employees and their health? So we constantly do our best uh, to reach out uh, and do what we can to support our employees. Um, we've gone to as, actually as well to introduce um, a hope hotline for our employees, right? Where any employees can call and reach out to a professional psychologist if they choose to. We continue to come up with activities to ensure that there's constant communication uh, as well as you know, activities to, to ensure that employees are engaged and ensure that they feel uh, connected. Uh, as a result, we had low employee turnover during the pandemic uh, and we had high engagement scores um, you know, throughout uh, our last year. Great, great. Uh, yeah, managing to make them feel safe 
I guess, mm -hmm. which is absolutely uh, fundamental. Um, in the online business space, uh, what kind of talent are you and your company looking for? What skill sets should they possess? So we, we are a sizable startup, uh, meaning to say that we have about a thousand staff. So you can imagine uh, you'll be pretty broad. But generally, we look for people um, who are passionate, um, have a good ambition to make a difference through the power of technology. We are home for problem solvers and innovators. We celebrate diversity and fun while ensuring that you know, recognition goes along with uh, increased ownership. It's also a good plan. Uh, and and, and if, if we look, especially for Indonesia, what sort of profile, what sort of candidates are you looking for? Uh, we are looking for people who, who want to work in a fast growth, entrepreneurial, digital startups environment, right? So with that, we have roles like EIRs, which is the entrepreneur in residence, um, who get to be owner of specific business. They are PNL owners uh, and they get control end-to-end uh, -end of the business. Uh, we have always have opportunities in the business development side to grow our footprint, um, including product and tech talents, marketing creatives, brand managers. As we continue to expand our brand por portfolio, um, as we have four brands in market, each of them with its own unique brand identity, customer profiles, uh, which have a very different set of creatives and communications that is needed. I see. I see. If, if we look back, um, what has been the key to your own success leading you to where you are now? Uh, firstly, Eric, I'd like to say thank you for that uh, comment. You know, I do feel that I have a lot to learn. Mm. I see myself uh, in that of a mindset of an infinite learner. Uh, it's been one of the core principles of my professional and personal life. Um, I'm always striving to immerse myself uh, with growth opportunities. Um, you know, although looking back, some of them look really challenging, but through focus, determination, and being mindful, um, you always strive to make uh, the most and, and learn. Another core principle for me was uh, thinking long term, especially um, as I rise up into leading more and more people and uh, leading a team of leaders as well. Um, I see many people around me um, always overestimating what they can do, what they can achieve in a short period of time, right? And these um, people or these people uh, who uh, underest overestimate what they can do in that period, massively underestimate what they can achieve and learn over a period of a longer time. So I combine uh, the infinite uh, learner mindset with a longer term horizon to give myself enough goals as well as enough development time uh, to achieve them. Uh, I find this perspective on the short term versus long term on what you can achieve absolutely uh, amazing. Uh, I can't agree more with, uh, with your position on that. Um, have you ever had moments where you felt like giving up during your career? And if, if, if you did, how did you choose to address and overcome those times? Well, it didn't really happen to me, right? Because this kind of goes back to being an infinite learner and having a longer term mindset, you know? Um, no matter how difficult the situation is, my experience so far will, is that something will always, there'll always be something that you can learn from it or find a way around it with a longer time, time horizon before um, giving up. Okay. Are there any role models who have inspired and made an impact in both your personal and professional life? I, I've been fortunate to have met a lot of amazing people, uh, read about a lot of amazing people, uh, and they stem from different backgrounds, different levels in society. Uh, and they inspired me in, in more ways that um, I could ever, ever imagine, right? So I, for me, I believe that inspiration, you know, uh, comes from many different places and many people, people that you meet in life. I, I, and I think this is where you, are, you, you have a fantastic opportunity with this regional role to uh, even have a bigger opportunity to meet new people, different angle, different perspective, different culture, and uh, keep your infinite uh, learning curve, I guess. Absolutely. What, what's next for yourself and Red Dose? Can, can you share a bit about this? Yeah, sure. Um, we, we are excited about the industry, um, the massive opportunity for our renewed vision to build the largest tech forward hospitality company in this part of the world, right? So we have more products and more power to give, right? And we we'll want our hotel partners to have them. Um, this keeps me energized. Um, I'm fortunate to work for an amazing group of talents 
uh, to bring this vision to life. Um, in this business climate, we will continue to innovate and strengthen our market position. Um, we came out with new products, we launched new brands, um, and as the out outcome of that, you know, we look forward to driving record revenues again. Uh, and at the same time, enjoying uh, what we do. So while we're still very early, uh, in the uh, very early innings of what we do, um, I'm also at the same time, um, you know, certain that we have started to embroider a part of, his, a part of history within the hospitality technology industry in the markets um, which we serve. Sounds, sounds a great plan and, and, and a lot to achieve and a fantastic story, I guess, to, to write with, with the teams. Yep. Excellent. Uh, Kelvin, thank you so much again uh, for taking the time to do uh, this with us today. Um, it was a lovely session and uh, we've gained many insights and takeaways uh, through your sharing. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me, Eric. Cool. Excellent. Uh, to our listeners and viewers, uh, stay tuned for the next episode of our Robert Walters Talent Talks. See you soon, everyone, and take care. Bye-bye.